Welcome back to our channel, the channel for the latest news and untold stories about Catherine, Princess of Wales, and her royal family. Today, I bring you breaking news. Princess Catherine's utmost beautiful in every style as she became the Princess of Wales. I've been meaning to write a piece about the Princess of Wales' style for quite some time, but I've always put it off since, to be truthful, Yes, I adore and appreciate everything that they do as well as represent. However, when it came to linking fashion or style with such a royal, in general, permit me to be hesitant. May well be an edgy taste or my frequently over-the-top attitude that just contrasts with the overall subtleness most everything royalty symbolizes for fashion and style-wise. The Princess of Wales, to be exact, a standard girl who always captures the hearts of princes and caused the entire country, heck, the whole globe, to become all mushy and sentimental over the marriage of the decade and, more recently, the pregnancy. Is the Princess of Wales fashionable? Furthermore, if that's so, what exactly could it be? Do you enjoy it? Catherine's clothes have indeed been analyzed and admired for decades, and I feel she gets a lot of credit for just not taking it too completely. Catherine is one of my favorite people. She's real, kind, and stunning. Her smile is flawless, and her motivation and engagement are outstanding. But her fashion sense? Let's all just assume that it's not particularly up my alley. With a couple of instances, the nude lace gown, the black lace attire, and a couple of extra ensembles I'll describe to you here. Her primary determinant selections are indeed a touch monotonous. They lack individuality, and Catherine's fashion is fairly incomplete, while being timeless and flawless. I've glanced at her ensemble several times and considered how she may well have combined it with a belt, other jewelry, or other pieces. I assume she seems to have more than some few fashion standards to follow, though still, Catherine dressed for your generation. As well as, I don't suggest the daring outfit, which I'd already seen William all enamored. As well as her sparkly sequin dress sense whenever she went out again to celebrate. Or her dull pants and basic blouses, which she stayed at home with her parents. I meant establish a mix among traditional and hip. Therefore, she needs to put on longer hems, caps, and true grandmother fashions every now and again, so surely there's opportunity for discreetly sprucing it up. Listed below are some of Catherine's previous fashion looks. Catherine's style, whether safe, pass, or fail, too dull or too grandmother, finds ways to fit in amid the other famous faces. Catherine's gowns have always had a beauty and refinement about themselves that are not associated with red carpet glamour and glitter. Still, she looks awesome in a number of them. Catherine's middle comment appears to symbolize overstated grace and flawless elegance. Plus, she's accomplishing a task that shouts kudos, merging elevated products with major designers. Catherine's fashion photos show her wearing both Alexander McQueen gowns alongside Topshop and Whistles outfits. She likes elevated brands, yet she's not afraid to wear them, which would be fantastic. I'd want to have more opportunity to witness this youthful Catherine break through into the confines of formalities of the monarchy. Yet, I suppose it's not entirely up to her. She's definitely trying her best to blend the needed classic look into a personalized connection, while simultaneously constantly evolving and changing in terms of style. Therefore, let's not roll the dice just yet. No Catherine fashion icon discussion would be complete without addressing Catherine's bridal gown. Alexander McQueen's designs are simple, feminine, majestic, and exquisite. Not my design style whatsoever, but she seemed lovely in that as well. I imagine she's still the topic of conversation around town, as well as the globe, as well as a fame or reference for any of all the wedding dresses. I like her overall appearance. It wasn't too composed, as if she did not attempt, but she nevertheless looked stunning. I'll add one more to the items. 
Catherine's hair is stunning. Wow, I've not witnessed a hair like that lush, shiny, bouncy and healthy looking. I've never been to a different hairstyle, colour or thickness. I'm not fond of her current 1970s hairstyle, however, with her hair, you could pull almost anything off. When I published this piece on my fashion blog, I received several comments from fashion enthusiasts. I believe there are some comments. This demonstrates her entire style. I adore her timeless classy style. She's usually completely dressed and does not feel the need to reveal her assets in order to attract attention. Except for one instance in that privacy of her own house, which only gave her a slight advantage. She dresses rather conservatively, but it's vital that the other women do realize that they can look beautiful and attractive without wearing too tight LBDs and low-rise shorts. I think she could keep it in mind that she has the staff or stylist designer working for her, as well as the reams of rules and regulations governing what she can and cannot wear. I believe she's a breath of fresh air in the stale royal fashion stakes. I like how she incorporates a touch of her own style everywhere that she can. I love Catherine's style. Her ensembles are usually so perfectly put together, but I would like to see her spice things up a little bit and attempt some looks which are a bit more adventurous, because although my style is a little more daring, I frequently go to her for inspiration. Thanks for a beautiful collection of photographs. I wear a lot of Iron Fist clothes, but like Kate, I tone it down with neutral tones. I'm a huge lover of traditional fashion. Personally, I believe she is safe and well-dressed. Granted, she has a team of stylists and access to top designers. Nonetheless, her style, like that of many celebrities nowadays with stylists, lacks curiosity. Not exactly what one would normally call a style icon. Real fashion idols such as Jackie Kennedy and Audrey Hepburn had a great eye for fashion that shone along with through the dressed casually in t-shirts and capris. Catherine has consistently been extremely simple and sophisticated in her selection of costumes even prior to becoming a princess, but she's now required to observe protocol and has designers to assist her. I believe the princess has delicious flavor for every evening gown, especially the long blue suit. Do you not really think, ladies? Her style is obvious, yet there are certain ensembles that she wears that are absolutely to die for. Thank you for watching today's video. Please let us know what you think about this story. That is a priceless gift for us. And so, for the time being, farewell.